it's Midget here bringing you another Walking Dead video review and today we're reviewing episode 12 of The Walking Dead and it's called Claimed Now. Um, this episode took, in my opinion, a uh, hugely different approach to the other episodes, you know, it's really different from the others because I'm going to give you, not my, not my um, rating, but uh, my view on it first, it was, it wasn't very... It was lacking warfare, it was lacking character development, and it wasn't um, that good, but somehow it kept me very interested. Now, I don't know how that was, um, I don't know how they did it, because, you know, if there's not much warfare or there's not much character development, what's the point of watching an episode? It's basically useless, but this one, like, sort of took a, like I just said, a hugely different approach, and it, you know, legitimately... Um, was very interesting for me. I don't know. I know that other people don't like it, but for some, I don't know. Somehow, I actually enjoyed it. You know, I've evaluated all my other episodes um, about like you know not much character development in warfare, and I haven't given it much over like you know. Um, sorry about that. I haven't given it much over like uh, a six over ten. You know, I always gave it a pretty bad you know, rating, and I said I, this episode is terrible. How this episode is really, really like opened up my eyes and said they're actually, you know, they were actually quite good, um, and very important to the story, um, so, yes, yeah, so that's basically it, you know, now I'm going to get to start off, um, there wasn't much to this episode, you know, but it starts off with Beth and Daryl, you know, it's the Beth and Daryl only episode, this one, and, um, they go into a loot car, and, you know, they hear some walkers or something, and they get into the boot of the car, and where Beth cries, and there's loads of thunder, and there's lo a huge amount of walkers, until the next morning where, um, you know, they go out and make a little camp, you know, um, but before the camp, they, like, get the supplies, steal some supplies from the car, I didn't know what they was getting supplies for, until they made the camp, you know, they got, uh, the car's wheel dinghies, um, I don't know why, but they got them and tied them to a, uh, tree and used it as something for the camp, um, so that was basically it. They made a camp, and Beth was like, Beth started talking to Daryl. I don't know why, but Daryl was kind of angry at Beth. Like, I don't know if it was at Beth, or he was just, you know, overall very angry, but he just didn't, you know, seem very intrigued in anything Beth said. And she said she wants to get some uh, something to drink, because before this, Daryl stabbed a snake, and they were eating snake. Um, but she went, I want to get a drink, so he tosses um, her a drink, but she's like, no, I want alcohol, and she goes... So if you try and find alcohol until a massive herd of zombies come and she distracts them with a stone, later to find out basically that Daryl's right behind her, you know. Because he was very stubborn and stayed at the camp. Um, until then, you know, the next scene where she's like uh, getting surrounded by all those walkers until she manages to, you know, chuck them out, Daryl then appears. So, you know, he's still got a bit of humanity in him, you know. He, he, he doesn't like not give anything about Beth, you know, he actually does care about her, that's what we got from that bit, um, but he leads her back a different way to the, uh, the camp, and she's like, I'm not staying at the camp, uh, so they go away and find a golf club, and they find, you know, that they're like, this walkers approaching, but there's like, um, quite a big herd, um, but they're quite far away, so they seem no harm, basically, and, um, basically, they go to the, golf club because they know there must be booze in there because Beth said I believe uh, uh, golf players like to drink so they go into uh, a golf club they go downstairs and uh, there's loads of walkers hanging from the like ceiling I was like what the hell what sort of creep would live there or do that you know like kill a walker put a thingy through his head over and done why, why would you hang them you know they're not even dead you know they're like they're alive, so I was pretty scared that like something's was gonna happen, but nothing really happened. And and basically, uh, they went down into the like um, further into the building, um, and Beth like gets a walker on her, but she said she can cope before. So Daryl didn't even touch the walker, you know. She she sort of killed the walker herself, and then um, the later find out, you know, go upstairs and find the like the bar where. Beth and Daryl stay, and basically, you know, Beth is like, you know, she finds some beach, peach, peach, something, um, she asks Daryl if it's nice, and he says it's not, um, you know, he's obviously pretty angry and stubborn at this point, because he thinks everybody's dead, and uh, so he, get, he gets the darts, and starts playing darts with 
uh, the on the people's heads, which I kind of find ironic since it's a dartboard, but it is much more fun playing darts on people's heads, you know. Um, and he turns to Beth for a second, and she's like, you know, hesitating to take a drink, because she said um, back at the camp that uh, Herschel wouldn't allow her to drink. Um, so she like, you know, she started like shaking, you know, she started crying, um, which she also said she wanted to do. She just wants to get drunk and cry. Um, so she she cried, but she didn't even take a sip. So Dad just picked up the um, he picked up the glass of you know the thing she was about to drink, the peach thing, smashed it on the floor and said, "I'm not gonna let you take your first bit of alcohol." And um, so they carried on going, you know, Beth sort of like cleaned herself up, you know. There was a lot of crying involved in this episode, and Beth, for God's sake. Um, and then they move on, that was basically the break. And then after the break, I missed like the first 20 seconds of the break or something. But I know it was something relating to Daryl's house. Maybe not the exact house, but it looked, um, for what he perceived it as, um, and he described it as, you know. Um, it was, it, it sort of matched his description of his house, so you never know, it might have been his house. Because, um, the simple thing was that, uh, you know, when Beth, if you watch this episode, uh, Beth, like, took out that bra ashtray, and she said, who would, uh, have one of these? And then Daryl, uh, says, my dad, and then he starts talking about the house, um, his house, and he's like, my father had this, my dad had this, you know, it was a very pale room, there was a lot of rubbish, and it all matched the description, that room matched the description of Dar uh, Dar what Daryl said it was, so I was like, kind of, well, that might be his house, you know, or like a hut that they went camping on, uh, because he didn't mention camping, and, um, and then uh, Beth and Daryl start playing a drinking game, and, you know, they, Beth um, tells him the rules, it's like, what, what the hell of a stupid game is that, you know, Daryl, because he, he's not played uh, drinking games, and he's a bit wary, since she said she's never drunk, uh, he said, how do you know this game, and she said, I watched my uh, my friends play, you know, um, but, yes, yeah, so they ask questions, it's, it's like, you say something like, I didn't, oh, I can't remember, it was yesterday at 9pm, so I can't remember, really, I'm a bit rusty on this, but, uh, she said something like, you have to say something that you didn't do, and if the person did it, you drink, no, if, you, if you, the person didn't do it, y you, you don't drink, if the person did do it, you drink, or something, you don't drink if the person didn't do it, the person drinks, but if they didn't do it, you drink, and until, you know, so they, they, they start playing and it goes all quite well. And then uh, Bev asks, makes like a wrong question, saying something about the prison. And Daryl, you know, you can see his um, mood change to anger, basically. And uh, then, you know, he just gets a bit mad, uh, starts, you know, being very aggressive. Um, but, you know, until I, I finally loved how she, um, he went off on a march and he starts shouting. You know, there's, you know, we know at this point there's a walker outside, but there's only one, so there's no big worry. Um, and, you know, I, I'm going to swear in a minute, but I guess that's all right, you know. I don't, it's like, I don't mind swearing, you know, it's just I don't find it, like, very, uh, not nice, you know. I would swear if I wanted to, I can, but I just don't find it's very good, you know, for, like, a YouTube video, what's the point? Um, so, basically, Daryl gets, you know, mad, and he has a wee, and, and she's like, Daryl, keep quiet, and she's like, and he goes, I can't hear you, I'm taking a piss. And it was hilarious, you know. I sort of laugh, but I don't really laugh often. So you can you can sort of view that as funny. And um, then, you know, she said she didn't never fight a crossbow. So he goes outside to that walker and makes uh, Beth shoot that walker with a crossbow. However, she doesn't do it. You know, he, he shoots a crossbow into his arm, the other arm, and in his stomach. So it pins him to the wall. And she he, he, he makes basically Beth, you know, uh, take the shot, but she doesn't, she walks off and stabs Walker in the head, and goes, something, blah, 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 and uh, they have a mini argument about, like, you know, the cam that they couldn't save them, or everybody's dead, and, uh, you know, that even if people are alive, we're never ever going to see them again, until uh, Beth manages to quiet it down after Daryl has that little outburst, and she hugs uh, Daryl, which is nice to see, but, um, you know, I don't think, I think Beth is going to die soon, you know, because she's just getting a bit too much screen time and stuff, you know, it's not a bad thing, she might not do, uh, but she is getting a quite an awful lot of character development, she's not that important of a character, so I am presuming a death, um, 
but the next scene, I think this is after, in the last break, uh, Daryl and Beth are on the balcony, you know, talking about life in general, and their life before zombie apocalypse, so, you know, Beth tells him hers, and Daryl tells Beth his, basically, and, you know, Daryl, you know, gives her a whole story, like, you know, uh, they were sitting in a, a, a Merle's dealer's house, you know, and they were talking about a cartoon, which eventually led to uh, the dealer pointing a gun at Daryl's head and saying, I'm going to kill you. And I was like, oh, damn, that escalated quite quickly. Um, but then Beth gets a little tiny bit drunk and tells Daryl um, to burn the building down. And Daryl's like, okay, we should need some more alcohol. And they finally burn the building down and they show Daryl's, you know, trademark fuck you symbol. Um, to fuck you, not fuck you, you know, I just like saying it like fuck. And, um... They do his trademark, you know, symbol. If you um, if you like the Facebook page The Walking Dead on, the actual one on um, Facebook, you'd know that Daryl has a lot of pictures, you know, doing that sign. And um, but then it sort of ended weirdly. You know, I never expected that to be an ending. They just walk out and it ends, like, out of nowhere, you know. It, it wasn't a cliffhanger. It wasn't a good ending, you know. I'd expect another scene at least. Um, but that's basically it, guys. Um... I really enjoyed the episode, and I can't really give it a 10 out of 10, because it, it, there wasn't much of everything in it, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, um, because basically it was a good episode, um, it's just, it lacked some bits, but have it keep me interesting, so I can't really give it too low of a mark, like 6 or 5, because it keep me interested, but there was things missing, like warfare, and loads of character development a bit, you know, because... I want to say talking about the past, his character development, you know, how Daryl had an awful lot of character development, because at the start of the show, he was very, you know, aggressive, stubborn, and, you know, basically only cared about himself, but now he's more of a team player, so that's character development, and talking about the past definitely isn't, in my opinion, so that's why I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Now let's go on to the little section at, after, at the end of the video that I really can't <laughs> know what it's called, um, but I love the way they implemented the feature at the beginning. That shows isolation, terror, and emotions. Um, basically, you know how the, the director of that episode of The Walking Dead, it, that feature was where they didn't talk for like the first ten minutes of the episode. You know, um, into the actual uh, what, what's it called the intro, they never spoke a word. They looted the car, got into the uh, trailer or boot of the car, and they didn't say a word. Then for like the next five minutes when they're at the camp, they never said a word again. So I like the feature that they implemented, you know. You, you could you could li really see the emotions, you just couldn't hear it, you know. Which is kind of a tough feature to pull off, but I think they pulled it off very perfectly. Uh, the director of The Walking Dead. And I also loved, you know how I said this, uh, I loved the ending Daryl signature for Q sign. Didn't feel like an ending though, because like I said, it wasn't a cliffhanger. It just all of a sudden stops, you know. It was... A, like, I'd expect at least one more scene, you know, like, something else, because they just turn around, walk out, and it ends, you know? Like, we've never seen that ending ever in The Walking Dead, I don't think, a ba as bad as ending of that, like that, I guess. But, that's basically it, and, um, the, <laughs> again, I mentioned this, but the best line ever, I can't hear you, I'm taking a piss. So, that's basically it for this week's episode, um, review, and I know it's a bit short, guys, but that's because there was really not much to this episode, you know. Like I said, it lacked a lot of uh, features which, you know, like, would engrave the things that happened into my mind. Like, if someone died, I'd kn I know that, and I know, like, the f five minutes, because it will make a huge impact on me. But nothing really happened, so it was a quite short episode. Nevertheless, I still managed to get, like, 14 or minutes out of this, so basically, yeah. So, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, guys. This is Midget, and I'm going to see you guys next week.